hey you guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for tuning in and if you ever turning subscriber thank you so much my love i really appreciate that and yeah in today's video this is what we're doing i'm going to be showing you guys how i achieved this look as you can see i'm already starting off with my l'oreal paris foundation and my next one would be um would be the body illuminating body collection illuminating foundation yeah okay so i am using those two shades together because sometimes in winter you guys my skin changes so yeah i prefer to use those two together because um i feel like they work well together and as you can see it's a bit too orange but we're gonna fix that by the way so do not worry too much <laughs> okay you guys so don't mind that there was no boy playing on the background so yeah anyways guys i prefer to proper blend my foundation but usually i will blend with the brush and then i'll go on with the beauty blender but today we're just gonna use a brush because i bought a new brush and it's working like magic so yeah and then we're moving on to our eyeshadow i'll just I just use the brown one as well so you're just gonna blend that onto your eyes and then I'm moving on to the concealer. That's the 17 seconds concealer. And yeah, I'm just putting that on my forehead, nose, and under my eyes and my cheeks as well. So yeah. And my chin. Don't forget your chin and... <laughs> Okay, you guys, so now I'm going in with my damp beauty blender, just blending in the concealer. I prefer to start on my chin. I don't know why. Don't even ask me why. That's what I prefer. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just making my way up, just blending really. <laughs> so you guys as you can see after blending your concealer you get some harsh lines that separates your foundation and concealer so i'm going back in with my foundation brush to just blend everything out just to remove the harsh lines as you can see yeah and that always works for me anyways so you might as well try it as well you guys let me know how that goes okay so after blending i am gonna go in with my lighter concealer again just on the corner of my eyes just a bit not too much because i didn't put much last time so yeah i prefer to put a second layer just to brighten my eyes just to look awake to look snatched if you know what i mean and to also get rid of eye bags you don't want that anyways i'm going in with my powder just use any powder if your choice really but it has to be a light powder guys so yeah that's me i'm not um i am baking but not leaving much product if you can i think if you can just see what i'm doing because <laughs> there's no easy way of explaining it just don't put too much powder yeah and I'm using my beauty blender as well. I'm not using a brush for that. So yeah, I think it's best to use a beauty blender because it works better than a brush, to be honest. You can use a brush to remove, but not to put powder. So yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> I just realized how many times I say yeah, but you gonna have to forgive me, guys, because yeah i have to feel like i'm talking to someone didn't i have to feel like you guys are here with me so like you're responding back to me <laughs> but i hope that makes sense 
oh my gosh you guys over the years i've never used to contour my nose because nose contouring can get a bit tricky sometimes so i felt like that was taking so much time when i'm doing my makeup so yeah but okay now you guys i'm used to it and i can't lie i love it and i don't like using um a dark concealer to contour my nose i just prefer to use a powder or like yeah, I just don't like using liquids to contour my nose because I find it very difficult to contour with liquids. So, yeah, I just prefer to use my powder. As you can see, it's going so well and I'm not a pro at that, but I can't lie. I'm quite happy with that, you guys. I'm so happy with the way how I contour my nose now anyway. So, that's just that. And as you can see, the trick in that is to use a small brush. Don't use the same size as I'm using right now. Use the small brush first on your nose. And then you can use this one on your cheeks and forehead. Yeah. <music> guys so for my blush i'm gonna use this eyeshadow palette i forgot the name so i'm gonna put it in the description box down below so yeah that's i'm using the pink shade as well so yeah that works well and lately you guys i've been loving the orange blush oh my gosh i can't wait to use it in summer because i feel like the orange blush in summer is gonna look gorgeous and yeah anyways today i'm using a pink one so i love that one as well so that's not a problem and if you don't have a blush you can use your eyeshadow just like what i'm doing like what i'm doing anyways i'm going back in with my powder because you guys this makeup has to last me the whole day as i am going out so yeah it has to so sometimes my skin is gets very oily so i prefer to use a second layer of powder to just make sure that I set everything in and yeah. Okay guys, so now I will be going in with my brush to just brush everything out and i put a bit of blush as well so to just make sure that um i did not remove any blush from my face so yeah we're going back in with the blush and then i'll remove the powder from my face <laughs> Okay, so after the powder, that's me spraying in my face and body mist and just to set everything in. Oh my gosh, you guys, I spray a generous amount. Yeah, so I prefer to spray quite a lot because I like the end results. Anyways, I'm going in with my lip liner, a brown lip liner for that. <laughs> Okay guys, so after drying my lips, I'm gonna go in with my liquid highlighter, that is She Glam and Dusty, and yeah. Okay you guys, quick tip about using a liquid highlighter, you have to put it in one area at a time and blend, and then move on to another area and blend, because on mine, um... The other areas I find it a, a bit difficult to blend because it dries up real quickly. So yeah, that's that.
okay you guys so we're done with the highlighter that's me applying my lip gloss and if you made it this far thank you so much for watching you guys that means a lot to me and yeah keep supporting my channel and please make sure to like share and subscribe if you haven't already thank you so much for watching i appreciate you guys bye Thank you.